Something incredible is happening up there. Discovery is being pulled towards Io, or pushed away from Jupiter, whichever. Sometimes it seems to be accelerating, and other times it just seems to stop. We left some good men up there, and I sent them. I have to go. The monolith near Jupiter, it is the same. It's even larger. And the uh, computer on board the Discovery, the Hell 9000, can it be reactivated? Yes. How could you convince your people to allow Americans to go on the flight? How's Washington? I'm going on the flight. How far away is Jupiter? Far. Mommy said you're going to be asleep for a long time. That's true. Your government wanted us to awaken you when we reported our findings. We did that. You're here to help us reactivate the Discovery and its computer systems because that is United States territory. You are authorized to observe other aspects of our mission. We have no other obligation. Just because our governments are behaving like asses doesn't mean that we have to. You've done a spectral analysis? Of course I have. If this data is correct, then there's something down there. After nine years and hundreds of millions of miles, we are about to come face to face with the monolith. The last human being who did that disappeared. Something truly amazing is going on out here. Discovery has been partially revived. We'll see if our computer brain surgeon and psychiatrist can put Hal back together again. To tell you the truth, I don't know if Hal is homicidal, suicidal, neurotic, psychotic, or just plain broken. Good morning, Dr. Chandra. This is Hal. I wish I could bring you better news. It's getting worse here. Right now, I think you're in a safer place than we are. I just hope that there is an urge to return to Do you know why Hal did what he did? Yes. It wasn't his fault. Whose fault was it? He was instructed to lie. What are you talking about? He became paranoid. There was something down there. It was organic. I think something wants us to stay away from Europe. As you know, things have not been going well back home. All American personnel are ordered to leave Soviet territory immediately or they will be placed under arrest. All Russian personnel are similarly ordered to evacuate American territory. No Russian citizen is allowed to remain on or is allowed to enter the discovery. This order is effective immediately. Dr. Floyd. What is it, Hal? There is a message for you. What's the message? Message as follows. It is dangerous to remain here. You must leave within two days. What? Hal, who the hell is sending this? The response is, I was David Bowman. Do you want me to repeat the last response? What's going to happen? I'm sorry, Dr. Floyd, I don't know. We gotta get out of here. Do you 
you talking about? If I told you, you'd never believe me. I'd never believe you. You simply have to trust me. Now, I know that trust doesn't come easy with what's going on. How long will it take you to program HAL for the launch? We know how sensitive he is to mission objectives, and now you are telling me to program him for the destruction of the Discovery as well as his own destruction. Has anybody considered his reaction? I'd love to give you this warning. By who? You see, something's going to happen. You must leave. What's going to happen? Something wonderful. This behavior is inconsistent with logic, Dr. Chandra. Yes, I know. Then why are we doing it? Is there a problem? No, how? The mission is proceeding normally. I'm ready to stop the countdown if you want. No, Hal, don't stop. I think we should stop. Chandra, get on the headset. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I can't do that. Goodbye, Dr. Floyd. Grab something! I'm trying to put into words what has happened. We have seen the process of life take place. There's life out there. We were only tenants of this world. 